we've done the big ship build but now I've got to do the little ship build Hello and welcome to the Battle in Barrow and in this video we are going to make little teeny tiny ships such as this. This is the one that's based upon the big ship build we've done recently, the TT Combat one. We're also going to make one based on the first ever ship I built about this time last year on the channel. We're going to make an even teenier, teenier, teenier ship based on the, uh, their underwater boat, the plows. I'm also going to build an even teenier, teenier, teenier ship based on the rowing boat that came in the Reaper Bones <laughs> Brewing Water set. I'm not going to go any smaller than that and make a single rowing boat. That'd be silly. I'm also going to make um, a few others, sort of bigger, sort of piratey boats, or similar size as one that the plans have got. And then also something a little bit bigger and more sinister. Now, why am I making these little teeny tiny ships? Well, that is because the big ship that will be used for the player phase in combat. I'm basing uh, my nautical ship combat on something from the DM's Guild, guild called uh, Captains and Cannons. Uh, so with that, it has two sort of distinct phases. The player phase is where players would move as normal around the ship and so forth. So that's what that's built for. But there is also the ship phase, which is on a one inch by one inch grid. Uh, and so if I had a grid for the big ship, it would be the size of a tennis field. So I'm going to downsize it and make it a little teeny inch by inch grid, as mentioned. And that's why I need smaller ships so I can move that, move around that and do ship combat. So let's get on with the build. The first ship I'm going to build is the first big ship that I built um, over a year ago now, the sort of single mast galley. For this, I'm going to start off with some 10mm foam and I'm going to work out what shape it needs to be. And it's roughly going to be an inch and a half long and about half an inch thick. Once I've got the shape, I'm just going to take it over to my hot wire cutter and cut it out. Once the basic shape's cut out, I've already sort of worked out how I want the side to look, the side profile to look. So uh, it's basically the same as the big ship. So what I shall do is also cut that out now as well. I'm going to use my sculpting tool to add in some planking around the side. And the decking along the top. The masks are just made from these earbud things, ear cleaner things, whatever they, they're called. Uh, you can pull off the end bit if you like, or just for quick convenience, just chop it off. Uh, so uh, I'm then just going to work out how long the mask needs to be and cut that down. And then the uh, cell part, the horizontal beam, I shall do likewise with. What I'm going to do is use my sculpting tool just to push into the mask where they will meet just to form a cross section. Next, using a bit of scrap paper, I'm going to work out how big I want the sails to be and then just cut that out using a nice sharp knife. This is all then super glued together. And guess what? I've got some uh, super glue uh, activator. Yay, that makes this bit easier. The sails are bent over at the top uh, to make it fit around the horizontal bar and these are then just super glued into place. In a sort of dollop of PVA on my finger, I'm just gonna spread this over the sail front and back uh, so then I can sort of manipulate it a bit to make it not look like a lump of paper that's just been glued into place so it looks like cells blowing in the wind on to the painting uh, this is painted in exactly the same way as the big ship so a uh, undercoat of burnt umber first then some uh, orc brown just to pick out some of the planks on the side I mean a more detailed 
painting guides probably on the actual main video so I don't know, head over and watch that. The cells are painted in bleach bone and most of the cells in these videos will be done likewise. And then finally a horse tone Rowan just dry brushed across the decking for a nice bit of weathered wood look. And that is it for uh, the ships. So I'm going to make some more now and we'll go over them but all the techniques are pretty much here uh, so I'll probably speed run through them and just if there's any new techniques we'll just cover those. So the next obvious ship to make is the one that our players will be using and it's done exactly the same, just worked out the size of it but this time it's two inches long and bizarrely the actual width is the same, just a uh, about half an inch. One of the main difference here is the side profile, it has a back bit sticking out and it's sort of really more high than the normal model so as before I'll just cut out the side profile but I'm also working out the raised bit using another bit of foam that will just be glued together. So I'll cut this out, then cut out the uh, raised bit, and it obviously doesn't need to be as thick as the 10 mil foam. So I'm just cutting that raised bit out and cutting it down to size. With it all cut out, it can now be glued together. I also add in the uh, planking on the sides and the decking on the top. With this, it has a doorway going into the cabin, so just using a craft knife, I'm just going to cut out a little wedge that will act as the doorway in. It also has like a front ram bit. I forget what this is called. I have been told many times. <laughs> anyway, this is just made from a little sliver of chipboard that I'm just going to glue into place. The sounds are done in exactly the same manner except for they, we're going to have three of them uh, and the middle one will have two cells on this back one here will only have one on and the front one just has that thin cell so uh, these for the most part are made in exactly the same way as before the front thin cell is just made from some cereal box card that once it's all glued into place I can offer up and sort of roughly work out how I want it to be. So it's just a case of freehanding it and working things out, cutting that out and gluing that into place. Painting, as before, it's just painted up in much the same way as the main ship. So it's undercoated in burnt umber. Uh, the decking gets a uh, orc brown color. Using a swamp brown, I paint out one of the uh, plankings around the edge. The cells get base coated in bleached bone. And the decking gets a wash of Agrax Earthshade. And with that, our player ship is done. But our players have more than one boat. They have their underwater boat, which is teeny tiny. So I'm going to make it. So that offcut from the last player ship I made is going to be almost a perfect side profile for how their underwater boat is. So I'm just going to use that and then I'm going to measure out a teeny tiny one inch long and about a quarter, just over a quarter of an inch wide ship that I'm just roughly working out here. This let's then gets cut out and I then cut the side profile down to size more. This is teeny tiny. Planks are put in, side and bottom. And one thing I don't show you in this video is this boat here is teeny tiny, but I even went even more teeny tiny. Remember that boat that I got in the Brian Wind box set, the sort of rowboat with a cell? I made that as well. So just, I won't cover that here, but that is three quarters of an inch long and you know an eighth of an inch wide and it has a cell that is done in exactly the same manner so here I'm just putting in the door it has a door going into the cabin and rather than cut it out I just push it in with my sculpting tool because it is so small this thing gets painted up in the same way as the big main one so this is snake bite leather and then it's just washed with Agrax Earthshade and that's that one done. 
So, okay, I've got the bug now, and I'm going to make two more ships. Um, what about a big ship? Something to challenge the players in time in terms of their vessel. So, this starts out at almost two and a half inches long and it's about three quarters of an inch wide this is going to be a big pirate ship perhaps this is lord azure's ship in my campaign or something like that the uh, face of chaos it's done in exactly the same way as before and it also has a back extended bit like the player ship that i'm adding in which will add make it in total come to almost three inches i'm just going to cut that out that gets glued together the planking gets done it has the front rammy thing which for the life of me again i forget <laughs> and the cells put in this just has three cells whereas our player ship has only two really and you can see the size comparison here how big this one actually is Here's all of them put together, including the underwater boat. Uh, the one that's not shown here is the little sailboat that I haven't made at this stage. Let's get this one painted. It is base coated in burnt umber. Ram part of it is painted in black and as are the sails. The whole thing then gets a coating in watered down uh, black contrast paint, the black Templar contrast paint because uh, I still want it to be somewhat brown but also black if that makes any sense so a wash wouldn't do but the contrast paint works it sort of registers as black but not quite black and this is how it looks at the end what I am going to do is just bend up that nose of the ram just out player ship doesn't have it it's straight whereas this one I fancied it being bent up okay let's make one more a ship of similar size to the players but more traditional pirate based so it's about two inches uh, long and just over half an inch wide I did want it to be slightly bigger than the players but not so big this is more an equal footing I'm just gonna work out the side profile again making it more sleek I guess I look was looking at pirate ships and things online for this it has a back part but the back parts really does slope upwards so it's more elegant over to the hot wire cutter and cut this out and at this stage I can make one of these in about 10 minutes so each ship is being made in under 10 minutes at this stage which you can almost knock out an armada in an hour it has a nose ram bit uh, um, I wish I'd looked up what this is called uh, and again like the big ship we made before it's going to be bent upwards this will have three masts uh, and it will be similar to the player ship where the front one has a fin which I will work out here because it also has a sail and a fin I thought that would look, uh, make it look somewhat different to the player ship sails made in exactly the same way at this stage they're just glued into place and the front fin is glued into place uh, it is painted up a mixture of all the others uh, just different browns uh, which I won't go over here as it will get boring but that is it that is how you make these mini pirate ships which will be used for ship to ship combat uh, we can have a look at them now uh, but I'd like to take the time to thank you for watching viewing subscribing liking interacting until the next video guys stay safe take care bye bye